I won't be inc including I won't be including water in the for, in the expression for Ka because it's a pure liquid and a solvent in this case. So this becomes H3O plus instead of H plus. That's the same thing, same concentration upon the concentration of ethanoic acid. So there's no difference really. Uh, it's just the way you write it, whatever you prefer, and. Um, this is a more professional way of writing it, the one on the right. However, the concentrations of H plus and H3O plus are the same. So you don't really have to worry about anything. So this is called the acid dissociation constant, Ka. Now, let me uh, erase this, this one. I have already explained it to you, so we don't need it anymore. Let me erase it so that this entire thing looks more cleaner. And let me also erase this. So now we have this acid dissociation constant Ka and we have this equation. So now if I have Z moles of this in total, only X will dissociate. I have Z in total but only X moles of this will dissociate. So for example, I have 25 moles in total. 25 mole per dm cube. Let's take the concentration as 25 mole per dm cube but only one mole per dm cube dissociates. So one mole per dm cube dissociates or not only not one. Let's take 0 0.5. 0 0.5 dissociates. The rest stays as ethanoic acid and 0 0.5 mole per dm cube out of this 25 moles per dm cube dissociate. So we have 0 0.5 mole of this and we have 0 0.5 mole of this per dm cube. So because this this was the amount that dissociated so this was the amount that is formed so if you see that the change okay let's not even take 25 let's take it as 100 so let's take that initially we had 100 but only 0 0.5 dissociated so there isn't really much difference in the concentration of the acid of ethanoic acid because it's just 100 and it, it was 100 initially and only 0 0.5 of it dissociated 99.5 is still the same so there was no significant change so we will still take the concentration of the weak acid as it is we will not change the concentration of the weak acid no matter how much dissociates the concentration of ethanoic acid will always remain the same no matter how much dissociates so in this case we had 100 initially 0 0.5 dissociated so we have 0 0.5 mole per dm cube of ethanoate ions we have 0 0.5 per dm cube of uh, h plus ions and we have 100 and we still have 100 mole per dm cube of ethanoic acid so when we calculate ka it will be 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 upon 100 so if you use your calculators you can calculate this whatever this value is it will be 0 0.25 divided by 100 so something like 0 0.25 divided by 100 so I will move back two positions so first we have 0 0.25 divided by 100 which is the same as we move back two positions 1 and 2 so we have 0 0.0025 so this is the value of Ka 0 0.0025 and the unit will be mole per dm cube because we have uh, the overall unit in the numerator is mole square per uh, d mole square times dm minus 6 and in the denominator it is mole per dm cube so mole per dm cube and mole per dm cube get cancelled out so we are left with mole per dm cube so this will be the unit of ka for this example and this was basically the as this is called the acid dissociation constant and it tells us how much the acid dissociates in solution to find basically why uh, weak acids have a high ph they have a high ph relative to strong acids because they are they have a they are reversible reactions. They, they, they undergo reversible reactions. So they do not completely dissociate. They partially dissociate. So we can calculate the acid dissociation constant. And then we have something called pKa. Which is basically 
negative log 10 of Ka. So pH 